What's up everyone, this is Tyson at Titans of CNC. And today I want to talk about inserts. Now if you've ever looked at a tooling catalog for inserts, Kenna Metal's website, our store, there's just so many choices and it's a little bit confusing on where to start with them. So I'm here today to break it down a little bit between the differences of two types of inserts. The KCU-10B inserts from Kenna Metal, which are actually a PVD insert, physical vapor deposition insert, and the KCP-25C inserts from Kenna Metal, which are a CVD insert, a chemical vapor deposition insert. And that's referring to how they make the coating that surrounds the carbide on the inserts. These two styles of inserts, they cover most of your inserts. And then I've also got a piece of 4140 here, which I'm gonna do a test cut on with both of these inserts. And then after each cut, we'll take a really good close look at the insert and compare the differences between them. The KCP25C inserts from Kenna Metal have four different layers in the coating, providing with things like wear resistance, heat resistance, abrasion resistance, and it being a thicker coating than the PVD inserts, you can also run these at higher SFMs than the PVD inserts. Keep in mind though, that they do generate more heat, but because of them being a thicker insert, they're able to withstand more heat than the PVD inserts. So the PVD inserts generate less heat, but the CVD inserts can withstand more heat. These are more focused on one or two types of materials. So this particular insert, it shines the best on steel. So I got a piece of 4140 in here right now. The only thing I've done to this material is I faced it and I turned across it, and that's just to get rid of the scale surrounding the part. So both of these inserts can cut on the same equal footing. I'm gonna start with the KCP25C, do one test cut five inches deep, and then we're gonna put in the other, the KCU10B, and we're gonna see what they do. Just ran the KCP25C. I had it at 500 SFM with a feed rate of 8 thousandths per revolution, taking 100 thousandths step to cut. Ran really well, I was really happy with it. So I can see it's got some discoloration on the side of it and on the face of it. So that's where the heat was coming off the insert. But other than that, the insert looks great. There's no visible wear on the corner of it. So I could run it at that speed all day, no problem. We're gonna swap to the KCU10B. And if you're looking for an insert that just covers a wide variety of materials, the KCU-10B is a good choice. It's a thinner coating than the CVD insert, which makes you think, why would you want a thin coating on an insert? You would probably want the thickest coating you can get on it because you would think that that would protect the insert the most, right? But on a PVD insert, you have less heat coming off of the insert due to the thin coating. That really means that these inserts perform great on really tough materials like Inconel and Monel, where you have to worry about work hardening on the materials due to the amount of heat being generated by your cutting. And they also generate less tool pressure, so they put less force on your part, which makes them a great choice on thin-walled parts. I'm gonna run it at a very similar speed and we're gonna see what happens. So we got the second insert in there. I was joking at first when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's cutting exactly the same. That's not gonna be that good for this video. But you can see actually, there's not a lot of smoke coming from that insert right now. For the first cut, I actually had to turn on the Aero X because there was just so much coming off of it. But these inserts do produce less heat than the other ones. And that's what we were looking for. I'm only now gonna turn it on now that it's done with the cut. <laughs> Thank you. 
We still got some discoloration on the side of it, but it's not as much as the other insert. Honestly, I could play around with the numbers, but that actually cut really good. I could run both of those all day long. It looked really good. I was actually pretty nervous because both almost looked exactly the same. I had super small chips coming from both inserts, but I will say that the KCP25C, the CVD insert, actually did what we were looking for. There was more heat coming off the insert. When I was cutting, more smoke was coming off the part to the point where I was getting worried for the camera, so I turned on the Aero X. <laughs> I do have more black on the insert, so more heat was coming off of it, but the edge looks good. I, I'd actually put this insert back in and run it some more. Meanwhile, the KCU-10B didn't produce as much smoke due to the less heat coming off of the insert. So that's exactly what I was saying earlier. If you're running a super alloy that work hardens due to heat, or you're running a thin wall where you're worried about it warping due to tool pressure, PVD inserts would be the best choice for that. Even though on CVD inserts, you can crank up the SFM on them, you can go to town, we could murder that material all day on those. Sometimes you might be limited by your machine. You can't run the crazy SFMs. So maybe using a PVD insert would be the best choice for that. It would also be something to consider if you just want a general purpose insert that covers all your bases, I'd immediately go for the KCU-10B. If you're interested at all in these inserts, you can buy them directly from us at titansofcnc.com. I know it's a little bit of a commercial, but right now we do have a promo going on the KCU-10B inserts. You can buy a pack of five of them, super cheap, and you need inserts anyway, so what better way to get them than buying them from us and you get to support free education and it's a pretty good discount. We have plenty of videos on our channel between me and Travis using both of these inserts, so make sure you check those out. Like and subscribe this video. We have plenty of more content coming your way, especially on this machine, the SMX2100 with the halter robot on it. I'm actually really excited. I wanna get going on the next part that I'm gonna be running on this thing. So I'll catch you guys later and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.